continue that video and we're going to see uh, the ridiculous arguments that Adnan's putting forth and they really don't stand up. In the book of Isaiah 43 verses <laughs> 10 to 11, we are told before me, there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I am the Lord and beside me, there is no savior. So here in these verses in the Old Testament, we see that God is one God. He is speaking as one person. This God is unipersonal. He's not speaking as a plurality of persons. Ra you hear that? Yeah, like, is that the point he made? Because I want to decimate yeah, that, him. Now that, that is the point, and he goes on for quite some time on that point, brother, that God is unipersonal. Okay. He goes on on that for quite some time. Okay, so if, he, if that's the gist of it, let me show Isaiah how it buries him and destroys Muhammad and the Amen. God of Quran. So are you ready? Amen. Okay, let's do it. So he just said one person. <clears throat> yep. I challenge this liar, and I will take shahad if he shows me, where in Isaiah it says, Jehovah God is one person. I challenge this liar, this wicked liar, and I call him a liar because he knows these points. He's debated Trinitarians. He's heard the argument. Yep. But remember, all of the Quran is Satan. Satan is a father of lies and a murderer. So if you're going to follow Satan, you're going to lie, deceive, and even murder unless the Holy Spirit saves you. And that's what Islam is. It's a death cult. It murders people. It enslaves people. It rapes women. This is all documented from Muslim sources. I'm not <clears throat> being mean. Quran and Hadith. If you want me to do a session on it, I will. But now. Amen. Now, first challenge. Adnan, you're such a repulsive liar. You do disgust me. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to be gracious like William. Because you know, you've debated enough Trinitarians to know. Nowhere in Isaiah does it say Jehovah is one person. Yes, one God. But one God doesn't equate to one person. And I'm going to prove it to you. Brother, if you can, go to Isaiah 54, 5. But then you're going to bring up the interlinear in a minute. Biblehub.com, <clears throat> but you got it. Put Isaiah 54, 5, if you can. <clears throat> you make it a little bit bigger. Here we go. And read it for us. Here we go. Here we go. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. Now, if you go to interlinear Bible or Biblehub.com, <clears throat> go to biblehub.com, go there, and you'll see the interlinear. Bring up Isaiah 54 5. <clears throat> Let me do this. Here we go. Okay, now you know what the interlinear is, right? Yep, I got it right here. Isaiah 54 5, right? Yep, watch here. I want everyone to see this with their own eyes. Oh, what happened? Let me bring it up. No? Hmm. There we go. And that's the interlinear? Yep. Here it is. Okay, but no, that's not it. Go up. So oh, my bad. My bad. Okay. Enter linear. You're going to see. Uh, right there. Right. There we go. No, but you need verse 5. 54, 5. You're on verse 1. So okay. open up where it says 51. Oh, you got it. Okay, you got it. There we go. Okay, now, <clears throat> put your cursor under the word husband. And V. Okay. What is it? Masculine plural. Plural construct. So now, wait, wait, wait. The word husband, your, that's singular, but the word husband is the plural of Baal? Wow, you're, you're not lying, brother. It's plural right there. Yeah, it's your husband's, but now do it for maker. Show them what maker is. <clears throat> maker is masculine plural as well. And for people now, wondering where it is, right there where I'm putting the little hand, the cursor, it highlights and it says masculine plural right there. Okay, so let them understand what you just showed them. In Hebrew, the word husband and maker are plural. It's husbands, makers, plural. Wow. Literally, the Hebrew says, your husbands are your makers. And who is he? Jehovah of hosts. So here, Isaiah, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, calls Jehovah husbands, makers, plural. I just want that to sink in. I don't want to move on until they get it. Show them to make sure they get it, my brother, because this is yeah. the first, first response to expose this liar. And I think the other thing to really to really emphasize for them, brother, what a great point. I think they need to really recognize one thing is that Adnan is pointing to the book of Isaiah. The very same book he's pointing to completely destroys his lies. Yeah. So what's the, what's the point of Isaiah 54, 5? What does it say God is? Jehovah is what? 
Jehovah is your maker, your husband. But no, why? You, you gave it singular again, so you're becoming a good yeah. Muslim. Your, your makers, your husbands. That's what it literally says. Yep. I want everyone Let to get it. If you guys don't get it, we can't move on. They don't get that the Hebrew of Isaiah 54, 5 calls Jehovah husbands, makers. Your husbands are your makers. And Jehovah of hosts is his name. It's using the plural for Jehovah, saying Jehovah's makers and husbands. Now, you wonder why the English translations didn't translate it plural. Because either they're afraid that people must read this to mean that Jehovah is multiple gods, or they're afraid that anti-Trinitarians will accuse them of reading their bias into the passages when that's simply the Hebrew, it's plural. What bias? It's plural. It's your husbands, Bo'ala uh, and Osai. Those are plurals of Asa and Ba'al. Your husbands, husbands, your makers. But notice, makers, husbands is a singular being. Jehovah of hosts is he. Shamo. And the word, his name is what? It's singular. So notice plurality and unity. Plurality and unity. Husbands, makers, yet Jehovah hosts his name, not their name. And, and haven't you, I mean, you're not lying, brother. People have been pointing this out to Adnan for maybe almost half a decade or even longer. You've even done sessions. He should know better. So he's continuing to mislead people just for the sake of it, despite knowing better. Yeah. Now, brother, do it again. Show them what, what husband and maker is in Hebrew. Explain it. Then show that the word shamo is singular. So plurality and unity. Yep. Look at this. Plurality and unity. We've got right here where I'm putting the little cursor here. <clears throat> people on Zoom, give us feedback. Let us know if you're getting it, because this is a very key point to get. Right here, look masculine plural but that is not the only one where it says your maker under here masculine plural plural as well if anybody's unable to see it i can zoom in let me brother does it come out clear on the, on the youtube when you're it's looking at it very faint on youtube so it's not it's the masculine plural that's faint okay yeah it's not your fault that's how it is yeah so i guess don't... that yeah he doesn't yeah, let me and, zoom in, yes, but uh, what you can do is put the link in the comment section on YouTube. People will click on.